Heroes come in all shapes and sizes, but one thing they all have in common, they protect people and save lives. These robbers were trying to perform a smash and grab at a Rolex store, but unfortunately for them, this 75-year-old vigilante leapt into action faster than they could even break the window. She may have only been armed with a purse, but that didn't stop her from breaking up the robbery and forcing everyone to flee. Who knew that Wonder Woman was old enough to get a senior discount? While waiting outside a library, this guy saw police officers pursuing a man armed with a pistol. And after expertly assessing the situation, he waited for the perfect moment to strike. I guess the only thing you need to send someone to jail is insane leg strength, perfect timing, and a library card. Security cameras caught the exact moment a car with a kid inside slid into oncoming traffic. But before anyone could even realize, including his mom, this worker kicked it into high gear and managed to stop the car in a matter of seconds. If this doesn't get you an employee of the year badge, then I don't know what will. Speaking of badges, this dad should get one of his own after snagging a rogue skateboard out of thin air, saving his son from a permanent imprint of a skate deck on his forehead. These criminals probably thought they had the perfect getaway vehicle, but little did they know, they were about to face some of the most coordinated crime stoppers out there. Yeah, let this be a lesson to never mess with forklift drivers when trying to pull off a heist. His reflexes may be faster than the current, but I don't think this is what he meant when he told his dog he wanted to play fetch. When no one was looking, this kid went rogue and climbed up a shelf that proved to be not the sturdiest. Fortunately, this android was there to stop anything from falling to the ground. See guys, robots aren't trying to destroy humanity and take over the world, right? In gymnastics, your life hangs in the balance with every maneuver you do, which is why it's always a good idea to have a coach like this ready to catch you when you fall. They always tell you to keep your eyes on the road, but no one really prepares you for when the other drivers don't. The passengers are lucky they ended up with this quick-thinking driver, who also just happens to look like the 44th President of the United States. If it wasn't for the expert skills of the crew on this tugboat, the next thing to go through the dock would have been the bow of the ship. This bike thief probably thought he was home free after his crime, but hiding around the corner was a man who was ready to let his frying pan do the talking. Damn, all those hours poured into video games finally paid off. If you ever find yourself parked on a hill, always remember to put on the e-brake, or at the very least, find someone like him. Thankfully, that Porsche gets to see another day. These mountain bikers came across a few unwelcome guests during their ride. So they had to resort to some of their more animalistic instincts. After this police chase came to an abrupt end, our felon here decided to try to escape the cops by using his last resort, a longboard. His technique was described as not very good. But just as he was about to get away, some random dude swooped in out of nowhere and put an end to his antics. Oh, who's that guy? Yeah, who would have thought trying to outmaneuver a truck on foot would be this hard to do? Hate to break it to you, man. I doubt they've got longboards in prison. Always look both ways before you cross the street. And while you're at it, thank your lucky stars for that guardian angel that's walking with you. The passengers of this van had to face probably everyone's biggest fear, being stuck in the middle of train tracks. Thankfully, there was someone nearby strong enough to get them to the next station, freedom. This guy was hoping he'd be able to step inside the fast food place and make some easy money. But sitting at the back were probably the only people he didn't want to see. Undercover cops. So yeah, the robbery was basically over before it even started. It should be a requirement for the bus drivers to have an environmental awareness that exceeds most humans, because that's the only way to explain how this happened. <laughs> Always look out before stepping onto a busy road, otherwise you might end up in the newspapers under the obituaries. Some detectives will go above and beyond to go get their guy. Like, take him for example. He left in the middle of an interview that tackled a perp to the ground like he was a linebacker from the Philadelphia Eagles. Speaking of things with wings, these bird watchers took their trip into the mud a bit too far. 
Luckily, this good Samaritan was willing to become a human stepping stone for them. I'm not even kidding. He actually laid down in front of them and let them step on his back in order to get out. Note the self, avoid waist-deep mud. After stealing a woman's bike, this criminal thought he'd get home scot-free. But then he ran into a real-life cowboy that wasn't having any of it. And if that wasn't enough, he even tied him to a tree and waited for the cops to arrive. From the horse, there's a rope connected to the ankle of a gentleman on the ground holding onto a tree. So it's real? It was real. All right, somebody get this guy a sheriff's badge. This guy may not be the hero we deserve, but the hero we needed. One man's misfortune is another man's opportunity. For fun? Yeah. Lucky for the truck driver, he was able to flee the scene unharmed and still with a job. Oh, very good. I guess this is what happens when police officers order delivery. This criminal spent way too much time worrying about the cops behind him and not enough about the pizza guy in front. Let's just hope the police gave him a nice tip. And it's not often you get to see someone get talked out of doing a robbery. But when you attempt to rob a store by threatening people with a fake gun, someone's gonna notice. And that someone was this guy. Once he figured out it was fake, well, let's just say he gave the robber a piece of his mind. I'm not sure what this guy was doing on top of the car in the first place, but I'm pretty sure moves like these are reserved for those who have the letter S stamped to their chest. This is the kind of protection I expect from my car insurance provider. When the car in front of you is stuck in a pothole, you can either drive around them, wait it out, or do what this guy did. I guess in situations like this, all you need is a little patience and a strong man. Oh, and it needs to be in Russia. Most of the time, crime is simple. Just take the thing and walk away. Despite his best efforts, he wasn't able to overpower this 72-year-old granny. I guess her grip strength was too much for him. Seriously, man, it's not happening. Go home. All right, let's see what's on the list. Number one, a snowboard. Number two, a helmet. And number three, a shovel? Wait, why is that on here? Oh, right. Yeah, let this be a reminder to make sure you and your snowboarding buddies have all of the essentials. When riding your motorbike, it's always a good idea to look out for pedestrians. Or better yet, have a bus driver do it for you. Here's an idea. If you're gonna rob a place, maybe don't choose a jujitsu academy. If you do, it's almost guaranteed that everyone's gonna chase you down and put you in an arm bar. Well, if you ever needed a reason to not go mountain climbing by yourself, here it is. He's, he's climbing, he's falling, falling. That's him. Who would have thought stopping a crime was as simple as holding a door shut? This bank manager must be putting super soldier serum in his coffee or something. Sometimes being a hero is just as simple as stopping a blind man from getting crushed by a moving train. Simple yet effective. Just because you're on opposing teams doesn't mean you can't help a brother out. If it wasn't for the bus driver, this vehicle may have gone on a cross-country road trip with nobody inside. Someone call Elon and tell him the self-driving technology needs a little bit of work. This referee found a way to channel his inner Neo to dodge any object in sight. But rather than using that power to dodge bullets, he's sticking with footballs. And always keep an eye on your weapon, which is something this guy had to learn the hard way. Because if he don't, a hotel clerk may distract you and swipe your gun when you're not looking. Sometimes in order to be the hero, all you need to do is pretend the problem doesn't exist. Take this store owner for instance. Even at gunpoint, he didn't even acknowledge the guy. He just went on with his business like nothing ever happened. I guess that's one way to not escalate things. Most of the time when you're in the dugout, you're not the one making the catches. But every once in a while, those skills are needed to save someone from being struck out, but not in the way you're thinking. That's a great catch. Who is the when cops get alerted that a robbery is taking place, it typically takes them a few minutes to arrive at the scene. But not for these guys. It only takes them a matter of seconds. They were so fast that they even managed to stop this robber before he even finished the job. 
poor guy. He never even stood a chance.